Hi, I'm Grandpa. My grandkids and I want to tell you about how the first genetically engineered vaccines work to protect you from the coronavirus. There are the awesome messenger RNA vaccines for COVID-19. This technology has many other uses, which will lead to enormous advances in science and medicine. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I'm the smart one. I'm planning to be a doctor, so this is important for me. Hey, I'm Milo, the computer savvy cousin. I built a virtual cell playground that we will use to explain how mRNA works. It represents just one of the trillions of cells that we have in our bodies. I'm Lizzie's sister, Nettie. According to her, I'm the dumb sister. Not, I fly the drone to get all the great close-up pictures. Hi, I'm VC. I think I am the smartest grandkid, not Lizzie. I am the navigator on the cosmic egg. To learn about the vaccine, let's start with some basics. Genetic engineering technology works with the genetic codes in DNA. And RNA too, like the coronavirus genetic code. For the COVID-19 vaccine, the scientists just created a small piece of the coronavirus RNA that is the instruction for building its protein spikes. The small piece is called messenger RNA or mRNA. And they created a protective droplet to keep it safe in the body. That is the cool part. Instead of a dead or weakened virus, the new technology uses pieces of the coronavirus to prepare your immune system. It uses the little knobs on the surface of the coronavirus called protein spikes. This is what the protein spikes look like. Without the rest of the virus, they won't make you sick, but they will get your immune system ready to fight the whole COVID-19 virus. We are going to use the Cosmic Egg Ship's time, space, and especially the size change function to explore Milo's cell playground. How's this, Jeepa? That is exactly what I had in mind. Nice job, Milo. It's just some of my usual great work. Awesome, huh? It's cool, but it looks way complicated. Yeah, Grandpa. What are all those parts? Let's take things one piece at a time. First, let's find out about your genetic code written in your DNA. Your DNA is inside the cell nucleus. That's the yellow spherical structure in the center. The DNA is in those X-shaped objects, which are your chromosomes. How about I launch my drone and reduce its size to fly inside a chromosome for a look at the DNA? Okay, Grandpa. The drone camera is now inside a chromosome, showing us the DNA. That DNA looks cool. So, I think I'm going to go into a chromosome to get a better look. I'll go too. I'll stay here with Nettie and Grandpa. Jeepa! The DNA is made up of two twisted strands of atoms. It is called a double helix. Grandpa, what is the DNA used for? The DNA has all the information on how to build your body. Grandpa, does it tell if I'm a girl or a boy, the color of my eyes, how tall I will be, or how smart I am? That's right, Nettie, and tens of thousands of other things too. You get one DNA strand from your mom and the other from your dad, so both your mom and dad are contributing pieces of the information. Papa, how does the DNA keep track of all that information? Good question, VC. The twisted pairs of atoms are linked by four different molecules, known by the letters A, T, G, and C. It is the sequence of these four molecules that contains all the information. Oh, I get it. It's like the sequence of the letters of our alphabet makes all of our words. Right, Nettie. It is also like the sequences of ones and zeros, used to store the information in our computers. Like 101 and 111000 mean two different things. Also right, VC.
Now let's take a look at another important part of the cell. It's those yellow spheres, the ribosomes. I'll fly the drone over to the yellow spheres. Are these the ribosomes, Grandpa? You got them, Nettie. The ribosomes are the factories that make the body's products or substances based on the codes in the DNA. How does that work, Jeepa? Let's simplify your cell playground, Milo. We'll focus on just the two parts of the cell important for this story. The first is the nucleus, with the DNA that stores all the information for building parts of your body. I have an idea, Grandpa. Let's represent the nucleus as a cloud, and the DNA as a bunch of computer servers. That's how I store all my pictures and digital data. Great idea, Lizzie. And the ribosomes manufacture products, so let's represent them as factories. That's good too. Let's simplify the cell to focus on just those two parts. Oh, this is much simpler. First, let's see what a normal process in the cell looks like. Let's make pepsin for digestion in the stomach. Milo, you are going to be the messenger. Okay. First, a small piece from one strand of your DNA that tells how to make pepsin is created by the nucleus. That is called messenger RNA, or mRNA. Well, I'm the messenger, so I got the mRNA. Then, Milo the messenger brings the mRNA code to one of the cell's factories, called a ribosome. The ribosome factory uses the instructions in the mRNA to make the pepsin, which is sent to the stomach. You guys explained that pretty well. Now, let's see how the virus works to make copies of itself. I'm in charge of that. This time, the genetic code comes from the virus. It inserts the complete RNA code for making copies of itself through the cell membrane into a cell. Then, Milo the messenger delivers copies of the virus RNA code to the ribosome factories. Yup! I got three factories working on that job. The ribosome factories use the instructions in the RNA to make copies of the virus which are released through the cell membrane into the body. Finally, let's see how the mRNA vaccine works. I'm in charge of that. The vaccine scientists have made an mRNA piece of code for duplicating the protein spikes on the surface of the coronavirus. The mRNA molecule for the protein spike looks like a short piece of the virus's RNA. The mRNA molecule is not very stable. It has to be kept very cold before it is used. It also has to be wrapped in an oily coating so that the body won't chew it up before it could do its work. So we need to look for oily droplets containing the mRNA. So this is how it works. First, the vaccine with the oily spheres gets to the cell surface. Then, the mRNA code for making the protein spikes gets into the cell. And then, Milo the messenger delivers copies of the mRNA code to the ribosome factories. The ribosome factories use the instructions in the mRNA to make copies of the virus's protein spikes, which migrate to the cell surface. The protein spikes on the cell surface get the immune system to produce antibodies that attack the spikes. Your immune system goes into action to destroy the infected cell, spikes, and attached antibodies. But some antibodies are left. Those leftover antibodies will be in your body and ready to defend if the whole virus tries to attack. Your immune system also has memory cells that remember the attack and can make new antibodies. Another good job, kids! The mRNA technology is way cool. I am glad I learned about it. And other genetic engineering medical treatments could be awesome too. I wonder what is next for genetic engineering. I bet they will make vaccines for cancer. This video was based on a chapter in the Race to the Big Bang Illustrated Storybook. 
You can read it and the Stardust Mystery Book to have more adventures with the Cosmic Kids. And you can learn lots of science about atoms and astronomy. You can find out how your atoms were produced in the explosive death of stars. That's why atoms are called stardust. And you can find lots more science videos on our Stardust Mystery YouTube channel. Check out video games, short stories, and student projects at our website. TheStardustMystery.com